Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Your time. Welcome to News in Detail TV. Welcome, my name is Bastido Dance. We love you guys. As you're supporting us, made a lot support in everything. You lay your hands amen to the news in details. Guys, we know what is happening in Sudan. We know that it's no longer safe in Sudan. And you can see Nigerians that are there that are stranded. The buses that were sent to pick them up, you would not believe that they are picked up, but they are left in the middle of nowhere. I want you to watch and see. Honestly, other countries picked up their people and look at the tales that is happening um, with Nigerians. Guys, watch it yourself and please share out. Please watch. Before we started this journey, we have to go on several fighting. Can you even imagine that we are stuck in this desert for four and four, five hours? We don't know the situation we have. We don't have water. Our money has finished. Can you even imagine? And they said they Welcome back, guys. It is good you heard it, you saw it, you watched it with your two naked eyes. Those are Nigerians that were in the battlefront. Um, what is it called in Sudan? Yes, because Sudan is experiencing unrest. And everybody is, every country is evacuating their citizens. U.S. has evacuated just every country. So what happened to Nigerians? What happened to the Nigerian government? Yes, they sent bosses to go evacuate Nigerians from there. But what happened? You could hear from their, um, from the passengers that are stranded. You could hear them telling you that they have been there for four to five hours, place of no return in the desert. Why did such happen? Because the people 
The drivers were not paid. The drivers were not paid. And they decided to go and pick them up and leave them in the middle of nowhere. Nigeria, my country. Haba. Let me ask a very simple question. If Nigeria was working, if everything was in place, what will the citizens be doing in Sudan? Nigeria is a giant of Africa. What happened? Look at how Nigerians are scattered around the world. Look at, because they want to get the best of education. If not, what would they be doing in Sudan? For crying out loud. Is Sudan better than Nigeria? But because the educational system is working, some of them have gone there to school. Some of them have even gone there to look for greener pasture. And look at them now in the middle of nowhere. Look at how they are crying. I saw some, some comments in the section. What are they doing there? Why wouldn't they, why, why wouldn't they go there? Why wouldn't they go there? Why are they to be blamed? It is the government that have failed the youths. Yet, that is just the truth. Look at, look at them crying out. Oh my goodness. For those people that will come and say, is this a true news? It is happening today. It is the real news. Because of the unrest in Sudan. That is why these people are stranded. And why will even the bus drivers just leave them in the middle of nowhere? That is what I don't understand. Don't they have conscience? Don't they have conscience? Look at them begging for mercy. Nigerian government should better stand up and go and evacuate their citizens. After all, they never committed any crime becoming Nigerians. You see why people believed in the obedient movement? You see why people wanted a new Nigeria? You see why people want a place that when they are done from school, they get jobs. When they want to go to school, they spent the right time in school. Have you seen it? This is why a lot of people want a better Nigeria. Let me allow you to be the judge. After all, this government passed house. Their children, none of them are in Sudan. Some of them are in America. And some of them are in the best part of the world and living the, their best lives. Why the common Nigerians are the ones that are paying dearly for all their mistakes. Please click on the share button and share out so you can get to a lot of people. Their children might also be there. Please follow us. Bye, guys.